Hello! <laughs> it's fun. All right, let's get back to it. As far as Deadpool within this genre of comic book movies... I mean, it is, uh, you know, it's R-rated. That's the first thing. There's never been anything like that before. Uh, he's an anti-hero. He sort of doesn't really want to be considered a hero. Um, he exists in the X-Men universe, but mostly just to bother them and make fun of them. You know, that's kind of a different deal. And as far as a Marvel movie goes, this is about as edgy as it gets, while still being very silly. It's truly a comedy all the way through. So it's very, you know, it remains funny and lighthearted, even when it gets pretty raw and dark, it's a, you know, tonally it's different than any other film. <clears throat> After I saw it, I was thinking Blade Runner, Mad Max, Chinatown, movies like that, not movies like X-Men, Age of Fantastic Four, Ultron, you know, the prequel. Because I wouldn't do a comic book movie necessarily um, unless it was this one, because this one is uh, right up my alley. R-rated comedy and a guy that only looks out for himself, I think uh, we're on track. And it will test a lot of relationships. You know, some, some people go in there a couple and leave completely broken up. Others will enter as just friends and have sexual intercourse by the third act of the film. I don't know if they've told you this, but part of the reason that we're releasing Deadpool on, uh, uh, on Valentine's Day is that we did some clinical trials, and it actually leads to sexual intercourse more than uh, any other movie in this genre. And uh, almost always the woman will orgasm during the film which is not always the case during sexual intercourse. I don't know if you know that, but lots of women will not be able to reach climax. That's not the case if they're watching this film.